Welcome, guys. I'm going to skip the magic book for this one, and we're just going to jump right into it. I'm going to make this clear right off the bat. I have not yet read the books for Divergence. I know there is three books. I have not read them. So any thoughts I have may change if I happen to read the books. Please do not hate me. If you are a big fan of the books, I don't know if the movie goes to the books. All I know is I was falling asleep. It's nicely... It looks like a very nice movie. It's an interesting story. But in my opinion, it's very cliched and very heavy-handed. That's just my opinion. It was it was a good movie. Again, I was sitting I had to run from another movie to catch this one. So that could be a factor too. Was I didn't get to see the ending of the movie I wanted to see the ending of, at least the credits of it. Now, like I said, it's a very hackney cliché first movie. I under, I understand this is a movie introducing apparently the characters for the next two. As far as I know, as I said, there are three books. As an uh, introduction movie, it's good, but I wasn't too overly impressed by it. Like I said, it was a, it was an okay story. I, I I liked a lot of the stuff in it. Like I liked the different types of the of the sectors and stuff like that. Two of the sectors, I knew what was going to happen. I don't want to give it too much away from this, so I'm I'm, I'm going to wait until I do the full synopsis or whatever they call it. But honestly, I you kind of know what's going to happen almost immediately because they like to give stuff away. It's one of those stories where you've seen it a million times. Now, I didn't say that they did it a million times and did it awful. They did it pretty good. The main actress looked like she wanted to cry the entire movie, and I guess that was putting me off because I'm just sitting there going, are you going to cry already? Because um, I'm sick of you looking like you're watering your eyes. Come on, cry already. Let's get this over with. But that's just my feelings. Um, I know I'm saying I'm a lot. I'm sorry, but this is one of those movies that I walked out of the theater and literally went, what did I just watch? Not in a bad way, but an un in a forgettable way. Um, the actors were good. Nothing against the actors. The actors were very, very good. The characters you wanted to hate, the actors did their parts fantastically. All of the character actors, just the actors in general, they did a terrific job, so I'm not hating on the actors. It's just that I got it. This was a movie to introduce the char the ones that survived. Spoiler. Um, and that was great. Maybe I don't like these kinds of movies, or I was hoping more would happen, because I was kind of expecting a little more to happen. But I get it. You're you're baiting for a sequel. That's wonderful. Great job, kitties. Y'all get the door prize. I wasn't impressed. I, again, I will do another review when I finally get around to reading the books, because I've got to go order them. Maybe I should have read the books before I did this review, so I can complain about what's wrong compared to the books. Um... I know a lot of reviewers I've been seeing have put this to Hunger Games, which I don't see why, but then again, in this small part I do, because of course you have the Rebel and like that, but the one thing I didn't like was it was very heavy-handed, and what I mean is, it's the whole, you have to conform, and you know, the hero has to be the one that doesn't want to conform, and again, we've seen this a million times, people, you're not showing us anything new. Fantastic. Great job. Visuals were beautiful in this movie. Some of the visuals were absolutely great. Uh, the destroyed Chicago looked great. I just don't know how to put it any other way. It bored me. It bored me. I'm sure, as I said, the actors did all they could. The story's just an introduction. And that might be the thing. Is I hoped a lot more happened. The ending, you can tell there's going to be a sequel. And if there's not, I'm a little sad. Because, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of this movie. But I want to see what happens. I mean, I'm not drooling over it and saying it's the best movie in the world. But I do want to know what happens in the story. So maybe I will go buy the books and then do another review. What do you guys think? As for um, my score, I would have watched with you guys on a stream... 
you know, this is the kind of movie I think you guys should see and come talk about. I think this would be a very interesting movie to show um, live to fans and have everyone open up and talk about it. That's the type of movie this is. You want to have a group of friends with you so you can talk about it, even if you want to make fun of it. This is my honest opinion. This is one of those movies that you guys should be talking about. Just talking about the thoughts in the movie, I mean. Not the movie itself. Like The factions. What do you think of the factions? Do you think any of them are exactly the same? Do you think they should be factions? That's the kind of thing I think this movie is trying to put across. And I honestly think that's what this kind of movie was for. I think this movie would work so much better. And I think it's going to work so much better when I show it to the fans. And I listen to your guys' thoughts while we're watching it. Because this is one of those rare kind of movies where that happens. And I know I'm going a little long-winded with this. Even though we're in the, in the score room. But honestly, this is how I feel. I think this would have been the perfect movie for one of my streams to just talk about it. So for now, this is Purity Sin. I'm signing off. I'm going to go look for these books now because I want to do a proper review based on the books versus the movie. So hey, if anybody from the movie is out there and they want to do a neat little experiment where they see where a group of people that don't have to be quiet in a movie theater think about this movie, contact me on YouTube. Hey, we could do a special showing. For now, this is Purity Sin signing off once again. And I hope you liked my little review. And I'm hoping I do a lot more like this. Bye, guys.